Hey guys, this is Mitch. Uh, so we're back at uh, Blood Force issue three, page 12. So we are wrapping up all of the UN proceedings, the, uh, the, the meetings and all that shit. So finally, we're going to get a break from chatting. Uh, and, and after this, we get a, uh, well, a, a, basically a silent page from Popo. So. <laughs> And then we're going to go back to more talking for a couple of pages. But uh, there will be fighting before the issue's out, I swear. So, yeah, this is just kind of wrapping things up. And, um, it, yeah, I, th I think I wasn't as into this page as I was for some of the previous ones. Like, at the beginning of the sequence, I think I was having a lot of fun with it. But by, like, page five of it, it's like, okay, God, can I, like, draw a fight again sometime soon? And the answer is no, by the way. <laughs> Not for like another like five pages. It's rough. You know. Again, I'm, I'm going to see about pacing it out a little bit better. Uh, for, for the next issue. Usually when I'm in the scripting phase, I'm not thinking about it at all. If anything, I kind of uh, avoid it a little bit because it's not great to write usually. You know, all that stuff I work out visually. So, like, in, in the script, you know, there might be the odd, like, description or two about action going on. But for the most part, it's just, like, you know, three-page fight sequence, eight-page fight sequence, whatever. One of the benefits of this comic, of course, is that I can have an eight-page fight sequence. It can, you know, that can go be all right. If anything, that's that's preferable, particularly for views. I haven't really been checking on how these ones have been doing. I got to assume it's it's a, a little bit lower than this. Like you know, for example, like Cyber Zerk kicking Hawkstab in the face, which is still one of the best pages I've done. I think. It's funny. Some of the pages in this issue um, have been like pretty good. Like maybe even like comparable or like close to that page. I, th I still think that's the best one. But um, yeah, I, I, I don't remember the ones from this issue as fondly, interestingly enough. I don't know why. I mean, there was page six, which I had to do completely twice. So that probably had a bit to do with it. So we're getting back with the... Uh, the minister here, who, yeah, I, <laughs> just a complete cartoon. Fun to draw. I don't know how much sense he makes in the universe. And I do know that perspective doesn't make any kind of sense with that table there. And the guy. Um, but like, oh, well. You know, again, I kind of wanted this sequence done and knowing, you know, okay, you finish this page, you can draw some popo. It's like, Oh man, that's that, that'll, that'll speed you up a little bit. And I had to recall that, uh, the robo clone here did have his super powered bodyguards behind him. Because, again, we're trying not to do them, like, just floating in space. Not all the time, anyway. So I had to put a knife back behind him here. Knife with a Y. I wonder if I should just spell it regularly. Because Image would never do that. That'd be so boring. Yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. And that... That J. Lee sword is like one of the few consistent elements throughout this sequence. Because that's the same, it's, I think that's pretty much the same as what it was like two pages ago. These panel designs are getting weird. Like the layouts. This does feel kind of crammed in. Yeah, I don't, yeah. Because the lack of separation without the gutter there. It, it does feel like she's just kind of growing off of the minister there on the left. It's interesting. At least there's a bit of separation 
between herself and the right panel. Did all right with her profile. I mean, like, you know, I haven't had a particularly bad drawing of Max Dreamus in a while, I don't think. Although, the one in panel four here, I'm not happy with. Yeah, okay, so... So yeah, this one here, it's a tough angle. So, you know, I'll, 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 and it's not a terrible drawing or anything, so I'll let it slide, but I don't know. Oh yeah, this was the one where I kept having to change the jawline because it looked like fucking, what's her name? Kate something. From the Lord of the Rings. I still can't remember her name. Come on, you can do it. Blanchett, that's it. And this is her kind of looking... This is like as downcast as she looks, really. I think that was the problem there, actually, was the um, that upper lip got a little bit too thin. Which, I mean, was intended because of the... Uh, I wanted to give her some kind of expression. I think I just should refrain. You know. If you can't, you know... If I can't come up with something that looks good... Like, you know, if, if the, the penciled version doesn't look like it's going to be there then I should just kind of blank face her, I think. We're being pretty faithful with our backgrounds in this one. I think this was another fairly quick page, so. Oh yeah, I remember I tried doing like a Conan picture after this and I had like nothing left. So yeah, I, I think I was just not really feeling it. I just wanted to get out. I don't think I do particularly well in comics these days. I think because with the, um, what do they call it? Decompressed story types. Where there's a lot of sitting around in bars or in restaurants or in apartments or standing and talking and shit. Like, that sounds awful. I mean, if you get into that groove, I suppose it's it's fairly easy to draw. Particularly if you're, you know, drawing everything on a computer and you can pull up backgrounds for reference. So you can just trace that shit, which I'm pretty sure they do a lot of the time. But yeah, no, give me a good fight sequence anytime. Oh yeah, I decided her boobs were too low. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm making up a lot of this page on the fly. I mean, like a lot of the time. There we go. They need to be they needed to be perkier. It's like, okay, so that, that doesn't sound great. But you don't want to give her grandma boobs either, right? But yeah, I was going to say, um, yeah, if, when I'm doing the uh, the scripts, it's usually, you know, I finish the script first. And then I don't even really, you know, like I'll, I'll tinker with it from time to time leading up to drawing the pages. But like, I don't really do anything visually with it at all before I get to the page, usually. I might have an idea of what I want to do, but I, I've never really, you know, I don't do thumbnails, so I don't really put it down at all. <laughs> Which uh, probably, yeah, again, probably isn't the best way to go. This is a bit of a tough angle, actually. We just got to show Max Dreamus, you know, walking away. And... Hawkstab following after. I, I think it turns out okay. But I don't think I did myself too many favors with this one.
and again, not working out perspective beforehand can have its detriments with like, you know, most of them, <laughs> you know, I like guess doesn't look as good as it could. But working out the perspective beforehand would, would lengthen my stay on the page and we can't have that. God damn it. I've got to finish this page in, in like four or five hours or, I mean, there's a chance it never gets finished. <laughs> There we go. Decent shot of Hawkstab from the waist up, but you know. Hmm. Kind of toying with the idea of uh, changing up the blades a little bit because I, I like the, the hooking effect there. I think that works better. And now I got to deal with these fucking theater seats. So I'm going to make it like an actual theater with like a ramp leading down and everything. <laughs> At least I didn't put the little like strip with the lights showing the ramp, you know, like the, the borders of the ramp. But like, yeah, this is such a pain in the ass to draw. I hate this stuff so much. Again, looks okay though. Decent. All right. And we're able to get a, enough black on the page, which is important, you know, and, th and there was kind of a lack of it in the, in the pages previous to this, because you see it on a smaller version. Like, like when I'm making the, the screen caps for these, I noticed for, I just finished the commentary for page 11, like an hour or so ago. And I noticed the screen cap for that is very, uh, white. And that's not what you want. You want a good mix. tough coming up with this pose where he's turning back and kind of yelling at the the delegates a bit and I wanted him to be a little bit over dramatic about it but not too over dramatic so I had to give him a lot of twist here where he's walking forward but his his torso is kind of facing back well facing to the side and his head is facing back a lot of movement there All right, now we get to put in just a few more chairs, a little bit of it, you know. I, I think I wanted to do this really quick, and then and I'm, I was able to kind of fight through the urge to just get out and put a little bit more. It, it, you know, it, it's not a very in-depth background at all. And I don't know if it's really enough. Oh, right. I had to do the shadow for Hogstab here. That's one thing I always have trouble with, and I don't know why. I, I can't really do a good shadow coming off of somebody, unless it's like a really obvious one. But like with like overhead lighting, I, I can't, uh, I don't know. I have a lot of difficulty with that. And yeah, just kind of put some vague sort of uh, additional doorways leading out there. And uh, yeah, so that's it for page 12. So that's one of those ones that's like, okay, it gets the job done. I don't even think there's much in the way of jokes on this page, really. Other than the fact that Max Trumas didn't get to talk at her hearing or her meeting or negotiation, whatever you want to call it. Which is a little funny in itself. Oh, and Hawkstab gets the last funny bit. So that's something. 
So yeah, now we're done with the uh, we're done with the UN, probably for well, I mean this particular room probably forever because the next time I'll I'll make it look more interesting. Um, yeah. So next time on to Popo, but uh, that's gonna do it for this one. Thanks very much for watching. If you like this video, please hit like, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when the next one's coming out. Go over and subscribe on my Patreon. That will give you access to everything I do, including the Blood Force pages, like this one here, as well as the finished comics, the YouTube videos before they get uploaded to YouTube, usually a week or so in advance. This one's more like two weeks in advance. And some Patreon exclusives. And then you can also follow me on Instagram if you like. Or Twitter. Um, on Twitter, I just kind of put up uh, links to revisit videos, so... I don't know. But it's another way to, to DM me and learn if you like. But yeah, that's going to do it. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.